Hey everyone, Anthony Morganti here. In today's tutorial, I'm going to demo how to use On1's No Noise AI with Photoshop. All right, the first thing you need to do is load an image into Photoshop, then duplicate the background layer by hitting Command or Control J on your computer. Once you have that duplicate layer, convert that layer into a smart object. The reason why you want to do that is if it's a smart object and you send it off into a plugin, when you come back from that plugin, if you find you need to readjust anything in that plugin, you'll be able to do that and you'll take up right where you left off in that plugin and I'll demo that when we get to it. So let's convert this to a smart object. I'm going to just right click right on the layer and go down to convert to smart object. Now we'll take a second to do it, but once it does it, you'll notice then that there's this little square in the corner that indicates this is a smart object. Now we're ready to send it into on ones no noise AI to do that. Go up to Filter, down to On1, and over to On1 No Noise AI Standalone 2021. It will take that Smart Object layer, and it will open it up into No Noise AI. Now I have No Noise AI set up on Auto, so it's going to examine the image, and it's because I have Auto on, it's automatically going to add amount, an amount of luminance and color noise reduction and an amount of enhanced detail as well. And if I pull this bar to the far right, you'll see that's before. You can see there's a considerable amount of noise. And there's after. Before, after. So you can see it did a really, really nice job. Now I want to demo something specifically about that smart object, how you could come back in and re-edit something. I'm going to move Enhance Detail up to 75, all right, just for the sake of this demonstration. And still, it did a nice job of removing noise. So I'm going to click Done, and it's going to then apply those edits to that smart object layer. Now, here's a before after. There's before and there's after. Now, if you're looking at it in a video that might not be at the most perfect resolution, when I click on that, you're going to notice that the before looks a little lighter, doesn't it? And when I click on the after, it's a little darker. That's because, and if I zoom in considerably, let's do this, and I give you the before, and you look at it, you could see that there is a considerable amount of noise, and the noise really consists of white speckles. Once I remove the noise, it removed the white speckles, so it, in effect, looks darker. So no noise AI didn't add contrast, it didn't uh, like move a black slider arbitrarily to make it darker or move shadows up or anything like that. It just removed those white speckles. And when it did that, it makes it look a little darker. But it kind of shows you it's working, I guess. So it did a really nice job. Now, I mentioned, again, we made this a smart object, and we could go back in and re-edit it. To do that, just double-click right where it says On One No Noise, right here. Just double-click there. It will reopen this smart object into No Noise AI again. And once it does, you'll notice that I move that one slider to 75. And I'm able to take up right where I left off. So I could say, well, you know, I enhanced detail a little too much. So I'm going to move that back down to 60. And then I could click Done. So because it's a smart object, I could go back in and re-edit that. If it wasn't a smart object and I went back into No Noise AI, no Noise AI just thinks it's a layer that needs noise reduction done to it, and it's just going to apply noise reduction on it. Um, so it's not allowing you to take up where you left off. Also, when you do a smart object, it automatically has a mask in it. So if I wanted to mask out the noise reduction from a specific area, I could then get a brush tool, make sure I'm clicked on the mask, paint in black, and I could like paint 
away the noise reduction on certain area. I didn't really want to do that, but that's the advantage of using the mask with that smart object layer. So you could see that using no noise AI with Photoshop is pretty straightforward, very easy to do, and I hope that helps you improve your workflow when you're trying to remove noise in an image when working with Photoshop. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.